Today in the Daily Dose, Fiorello LaGuardia. Born in 1882 Greenwich Village, New York, the son of an Italian immigrant father and a Jewish mother from Trieste, early in his political career, Fiorello LaGuardia won and lost a string of elected offices, including two congressional seats in the U.S. House of Representatives and president of the New York City Board of Aldermen. Elected mayor of New York City in 1933 as a fusion party candidate, soon to crush a centuries-long string of corrupt Tammany Hall bosses, the five-foot-tall portly Republican was fluent in a number of languages, including Italian, German, Yiddish, and Croatian, which combined with his energetic can-do personality to resonate with the melting pot diaspora of New York City's immigrant voter base for the next 12 years to come. Considered by many political historians as the greatest mayor in U.S. history, LaGuardia criticized the gangsters who brought negative stereotypes to New York's thriving Italian community, going after bosses like Lucky Luciano and Frank Costello in his frequent radio addresses, stating, let's drive the bums out of town. In 1934, after rounding up thousands of Costello's one-armed bandits, LaGuardia bashed a number of slot machines with a sledgehammer before dumping them ceremoniously into the Long Island Sound. Working with special prosecutor and future Republican presidential candidate Thomas E. Dewey, LaGuardia led a successful investigation into Luciano's prostitution ring, eventually sending the mob boss to prison on a 30 to 50 year sentence. During the hardscrabble years of the Great Depression, LaGuardia's close relationship with President Franklin D. Roosevelt and his New Deal reforms witnessed $1.1 billion in federal stimulus money pour into New York City infrastructure projects, working closely with LaGuardia's powerful Parks Commissioner Robert Moses to build the West Side Highway, the East River Drive, Brooklyn's Battery Tunnel, the Triborough Bridge, plus two regional airports, now known as LaGuardia and JFK, at the same time presiding over the 1939 World's Fair at Flushing Meadows and the public takeover of the New York City subway system. Shortly before America's entry into World War II, FDR appointed LaGuardia as the first director of the Office of Civilian Defense, or OCD, giving LaGuardia full oversight over the mobilization of thousands of volunteers in such capacities as air raid wardens and the creation of blackout protocols, the installation of air raid sirens and shelters, and the worrisome likelihood that German or Japanese bombers could someday reach American shores. He also created the Civil Air Patrol, juggling three days a week in Washington as OCD director, followed by four days a week as New York City's mayor. He passed away from pancreatic cancer on September 20th, 1947, making Fiorello LaGuardia one of the boldest leaders in 20th century America. And there you have it, Fiorello LaGuardia, today in The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.